As always, I love y'all. I'm a little upset, but I love y'all. This response video was supposed to be a, a very professional response video until Trap Vegan released a statement full of lies, which lets me know y'all really want to smoke, don't you? Because had I not been recording, your whole story, your whole statement would be very believable. So now I gotta set the record straight. Uh, did you guys get that online order fix? That online situation? Uh, yeah, so we did figure it out. So it sent you to two different platforms. One sent us to the website and one sent us to our online app. But you did see where it said not accepting orders until tomorrow. Right. So right. it is something wrong. I just want to be clear on that. Yeah. When I called you, you got me, it seemed like I was crazy. Okay. I know. I think I spoke to you. Yeah. But yeah, we did figure the situation out. Oh, yeah, that was me. Oh, you was the one that. Oh, you was the one that answered the phone? Yeah, no. a couple of us. Couple couple of us so you was one of the rude ones? No, I'm never rude. Oh, yeah, well, so it was one of y'all that was rude. I was say, I'm never rude to no customers. Oh, oh well, it was what, somebody now. Was it a man or a woman? Oh, well, it was him. Spoke to him. Okay. Spoke to him and I'm not going to accuse you. Okay. But I did call, right? Yeah, because we And a, someone that was rude did answer the phone. Oh. It made it seem like I was crazy when I said there was an issue with the online order. No, nobody would make it seem like you well, no, they did. Well, I'm going to just tell you that I can apologize for that. Unfortunately, yeah. we instruct the staff to mm -hmm. just don't take calling orders because people call in, you just can't afford the loss. They call in, you take an order, $40, $50. It's sitting there all day. Nobody ever comes. So it's, so it's past the phone issue, mm -hmm. right? There's an issue with the online system. And that's why right? I was just in the back. And there's also a customer service issue. So we're actually past the, I understand you guys want to set phone orders. I understand that. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I appreciate that. Yeah. But um, I'm patronizing, right? Yeah. Um, I'm spending my hard earned money. We and I don't it. appreciate when I call the attitude that I was given. Okay. Well, we could definitely work on the, you know, the attitude. And we can apologize for that. But mm -hmm. I know that, you know, we try to just instruct them to just not take online orders. And they could have, you know, maybe walked you through it or whatever, pulled it up here from our phones or something like that, tried gotcha. to walk you through it to maybe see where the disconnect was because all they know is just, don't take well, it's a huge disconnect because when you go yeah. online and try to order now, it literally says not accepting orders until tomorrow. That's what I was trying to and explain. You know what? I think, so that's, that's actually who I was just and that can be a big issue. Talking. That can be a big issue for you guys. It is. So for one, I could be wrong. I stand to be corrected. I'm 99.99999% sure that this was the lady that was cutting me off the whole time. If you listen to the video, and she's steady trying to get a point across without just shutting up and just allowing me to speak my piece. Now let's get into more lies and bullshit. He called two more times and eventually figured out what was the issue and placed his order. All right, I called way, way more than two more times. And yes, you're right, I finally figured it out. After a whole hour of trying to place the order online, after a whole hour of trying to place the order through my iPad, after a whole hour of calling y'all trying to get my point across, you're right, I finally figured it out. And to be honest, it shouldn't have took that long. If you would have just shut the up at the beginning and allowed me to explain what was going on this situation could have easily been rectified it would have never gotten this far but you didn't he said he was hung up on by staff which is unacceptable and was immediately dealt with once we got all the facts <laughs> okay so now you're accepting the fact that i was hung up on because beforehand you seemed surprised the customer service could have been better yes yes and yeah I, so, I mean i was hung up on you know you was, hung up on yeah 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 unfortunately i was recording it so yeah You believe me now? All right. Now let's address this bullshit right here. Definitely because again, I want to just reiterate when I called the first time. Yeah, it definitely was an issue. I was looked like, I, I mean, everybody was like, oh, no, 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 it's no issue. Because you know why they yeah. said that? And I could just, you know, I'm just basically giving you background information. You sure. know what I'm saying? Just trying to explain right. to you so you can completely understand. Yeah. They were saying that it was not an issue because online was coming off. Like, online, you. as you were, you know, online was Understand. coming out. However, Understand. it still was an issue. They just wasn't aware of the page that you were. Order. Gotcha. I'm gonna say this one more time. The reason why you were not aware of the page that I was ordering from is because your your Motor City mouth couldn't just shut up for just five seconds and allow me to explain to you what was going on. That's why you didn't know what page I was ordering from. That's why you didn't know the page I was affected because you couldn't shut up. Oh yeah, this is where it gets good right here. And upon him coming in to pick up his food, he let another staff member and manager know his experience and both of him and her apologize. <laughs> So for one, the lady did apologize. It wasn't sincere. You can tell she was just apologizing just to be apologizing, just to say she apologized, which is okay. At the end of the day, it's an apology. But homeboy, oh, he ain't apologized at all. As a matter of fact, he admitted to making me look crazy. But you did see where it said not accepting orders until tomorrow. Right. 
So it is something wrong. I just want to be clear on that. Yeah. When I called you, guys, I made it seem like I was crazy. Okay. I know. I think I spoke to you. And this is what gets me with, with some men. If you a man enough to talk with your chest, all right? Like you right, okay? Like you know what's going on and you're wrong. Drop your nuts and just apologize. It's okay to just say I f***ed up. And had you done that, I promise you I would not be making this video. But you didn't. Where is that other lie at? Oh, we refunded his money for the inconvenience and asked how we could make it right. But at that point, he was all set on the apology. Sir, ma'am, uh, I didn't I didn't know you refunded my money until I was tagged in this post. You didn't offer to refund my money. You just did it. You did it because you later on found out who I was. You knew I was going to make a video. That's why you did it. Two, you did not. And I'm going to repeat this. You did not ask me how you could make this better. Maybe you meant to say, I'll refund you your money. How can we make this right? But those words simply did not come out your mouth. So why lie? Why are we lying right now? If you guys don't take anything from this from this situation, notice if you're ever in a situation to where the truth can be manipulated, it takes two seconds to hit that record button. Women lie, men lie, video does not. Even after all that, I still left on a good note. Hey, I love you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. For one, I want to apologize to you guys for even talking about this. I love eating, all right? I love reviewing food. I will not allow myself to look crazy out here when these people out here lying and throwing shade on my name. I won't allow it to happen. If you're ever in the Detroit area, check this place out. I love y'all. Thank y'all for changing my life.